Oh, this feels so good. What is good, guys, and welcome to today's video. It's going to be a little bit different, and I'm super pumped about this video because it is completely nothing like any other video that I have ever put out. And I think with every big YouTuber out there, when they finally make it big, it's because they decided to do a random video that had nothing to do with the normal content that they make, and it just explodes. And I think this video is definitely that. It's unlike anything you've ever seen before. So, let me show you what we're doing today. We are going to be installing this Toshiba Japanese toilet seat on my toilet here in Japan. Literally, one of those things with the little controllers, it heats the seat up in winter, keeps it warm, so no cold sit-down moments. And the best thing of all, boys, is I won't need toilet paper for the rest of my life. That's a pretty good amount of saving right there. These pipes all hook into the water thing, and there's a little sprayer that sprays your butthole, keeps it clean, good times. All right, let's get this thing out and show you what makes it work. And there we go, lads. There it is, all $140 worth of a toilet seat. This is awesome. The best thing about this thing, like I said, it's heated, but there's this little thing here, this little guy here, comes out and sprays your butthole. That's, that's it, that's the magical thing there. Has infrared sensors and a whole bunch of cool stuff, so it detects and knows like when you're sitting on the toilet, so it doesn't always turn on and all that kind of stuff. There are these ones you can get that have remote controls, which I kind of wanted to get, but they were like $500. Um, because like when friends and stuff visit, I just love to like troll them and push the button for the thing to spray them while they're sitting on there not even expecting it. But you know, hey, that's me. I'm a cool guy. Um, but yeah, whole bunch of really cool features here. You can turn the temperature up of the seat, make it hotter, make it cooler. Um, you do a whole bunch of other stuff with controlling the jet stream, how strong it tickles your butthole and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's also a woman feature there for cleaning the front. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a bit personal, but I'm sure you guys understand all of that kind of stuff. We're all big people here. Everyone poops, everyone goes to the bathroom and just so happens that Japan seems to have perfected the toilet seat and no one else in the world has a uh, technology like this when it comes to pooping and stuff like that so let's show you the toilet let's show you what we're doing and go from there and here it is guys my throne I'm literally it feels a little bit kind of weird sharing you guys this personal space of mine because literally I'm here every morning going through your comments deciding which ones to reply to or not but all things aside, it's winter. We've lived here for over two years now and had one of these toilet seats. Now, we do have like the cover, special covers and stuff that go on them and stuff, but I hate those. They're gross, and I thought it was time to finally update our toilet to the 21st century. Um, we have one of these Toto toilets. Um, I've always wanted to do this, but I haven't done it yet. I just want to get a permanent marker and finish this and write Totoro with a little Totoro face there. Um, but anyways, all that aside, this is a typical toilet here in Japan. Not only do you have this section for doing your business, but you have this section for washing your hands. Uh, how the toilet works is when you flush it, this is how it fills the system back up. Water just kind of comes out of the tap here and goes in there. Now, I've already turned the water off to the toilet, which is through this little thing here. You just kind of turn that a little bit with a screwdriver and she's off. So, I now know that we are good to start this install. So, the model of amazing Japanese crazy technology toilet seat that we're installing today, which is what this Japanese says, is an SCST160. Um, this instruction manual is probably not gonna help me in the slightest, although it does have some kind of nice pictures for figuring stuff out. So, we'll go with that. First step though, I'm assuming, is we need to remove the old toilet seat and uh, probably do some piping stuff. So tools we've got, which every real man should have, is a shifter, a pair of multi-grips or channel locks, I think they're called in the States, and uh, I use a flathead screwdriver just for turning off that tap because it's a kind of special thing. So anyways, I think that's all we're gonna need. Let's get this party started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only Sam would hunt while installing a toilet seat. So true story, my dad, Still to this day is a plumber. He probably should retire. He's like 70 something years old now. But when I was younger, like, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you know, well, I'm not 18, but you know. When I was younger, I used to go out and help him. So I'm kind of like a master pro at this stuff. You know, I don't like to boast, but yeah. There we go. Toilet seat removed. There's a bit of a, there's a bit of build up there that we probably need to deal with, but that's what the alcohol sprays for. Oh God, there's germs. <laughs> yeah, get it away from me. We never know how many people have used this toilet seat. 
This is so uh, gross. This is so gross. The instruction manual actually has some pretty decent pictures here on explaining what you need to do. So we got the plate here, we got the bolts and everything, and these pretty much just slip in like that very easily. Now they give you this really cool tool so that you can tighten the nuts and stuff with. So that kind of like goes over there and you just spin it behind there and you can grip it. So we're gonna install these nuts here now behind the toilet on that. And then that's this thing kind of mounted, which then the seat kind of clicks into it seems. Yeah, interesting. Oh, it like kind of slips in and clicks in. Oh, you don't tighten them all the way till you've got the seat lined up. Geez, we're getting stuff done really quick here. This is awesome. All right, so let's um, get that done and uh, go from there. Ta-da! We've now got a fully Japanese toilet seat on this old toilet. How sick is that? Look at that! All right, now, uh, next serious thing is, the best thing about this is like, if you need to clean or anything, you just slide the whole thing off. It literally clicks on and slides onto this bracket that you mount there. So that was relatively easy. Now what I need to do is the plumbing work, which they supply everything, the little uh, kind of T-piece there to extend everything out, plus all the extra lines and stuff. So I'm gonna get that now and I'm gonna plumb this thing up. Fingers crossed there's no water in that pipe. I'm expecting there to be a tiny bit just sitting in there from here to here. Um, but otherwise, should be fine. Just waiting for this like not to be actually properly turned off and water spray everywhere right now. Should just be a little bit of water, not a lot. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, I was right, just a little bit, hell yeah. Okay. All right, now the water line that goes to the toilet seat itself is here. So some of you guys might be asking, this is all well and good, Sam, that you know, you're piping water to the toilet seat, right? But isn't the water gonna be cold? Mm, yes, this is cold water here, but no, the seat actually heats the water up as well so that you don't get cold water on your butt. In fact, it has a little system in it where it knows whether or not what the temperature of the water is. So it dumps the cold water in behind the seat into the toilet bowl um, before, and then once it gets warm, then it can directs the water to the actual butt sprayer. I don't really know what the correct word is for it, but I'm just going to keep calling it butt sprayer. So that's probably easier for everyone to understand, me, myself included. All right, so we should be pretty good here now. We've got everything piped up, ready to roll, and get this all connected to the toilet seat. Throw it on, plug her in, and she should work. Let's give it a rip. Probably clean up that water I made down, the mess I made down there first. Moment of truth. When I turn this tap on, we're gonna have leaks. Seems like no leaks. Yeah, boy. No water leaking. I think we're good. We'll monitor it for a bit, but I think we are good. So now it's time for pretty much the final step other than using it and testing it out. And that is, we gotta wire this thing up. This green wire is for the earth, and that is so that if anything goes wrong in this seat, because there is a lot happening in here, you know, it heats up the water, it sprays you, uh, it heats up the entire toilet seat. If something were to go wrong, you don't obviously want to get electrocuted and die, so you need to have the earthing hooked up. And in Japan, this is how the earth's done. I don't know why they don't just have earthing, you know, plugs and connectors and stuff like that, but essentially you just gotta run the earthing wire into the earth port like that and just tighten it up. And that way, she's earth, not gonna be any issues if anyone gets electrocuted or anything. And now, the moment of truth. Oh, did you guys see that light up? Oh, it's making noises. What? Guys, it has a little dick. <laughs> did you just see that? Hang on, if I power cycle this, will it do it again? That was so funny. There it comes! There it is! <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> okay, uh, what should we do? How do we test this? I mean, if we push this button, I know that's gonna do something. Um, and then we've got the, the heating options here and, and the jet pulsing. Hang on, where is it? I'm just gonna keep pushing buttons until something happens. Whoa. Um. 
I'm scared. I push. No, 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 no. Yeah, so this is where it's heating up the water. Okay, that scared me. So this thing is too smart for me to just push this button and it to start working. It has, to, has an infrared sensor, has a, uh, a sensor where it detects when someone's sitting on the physical toilet seat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mimic it, put some weight on it, put my hand in front of the sensor here, and then we're gonna push it. So I'm gonna put your, the camera in my mouth, hang on. I think that's it. I think it's happening. Oh no! <laughs> I was not expecting it to be such a strong jet. It kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> it got in my face and the hoodie is completely drenched. The G7X has water in the lens. Um... <laughs> I really took one for the team. Anyways, I'm gonna turn the, the strength setting down for the jet because I think that's gonna probably put a hole in my butt. But for now, we are done with this install video. Guys, smash that like button if you're as hyped as I am about this. Um, I mean, it's, it's random, it's weird, but it's funny. This is seriously some of the best technology that is in Japan. Some people say they moved to Japan for the culture, the food, the girls, or just whatever, but really, um, we all just move here because of the toilet seats, let's be honest. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, smash the like button, write us a comment. Um, do you guys want want some of these? Maybe I should start shipping them out of the country. I don't know. Peace out, guys. Jamata. Oh, this feels so good. Eat.